Well, you guys got another video here for you for every desktop wallpaper you have ever wanted. I see a lot of people asking about desktop wallpapers in my video comments on some of the desktop wallpapers that I use. And these come from basically Bing. So Bing has a lot of options for wallpapers available to you. Unfortunately, uh, you have to download the Bing wallpaper.exe file and again this will give you access to a random wallpaper every day but what if you wanted access to all of the wallpapers and you choose your own method of showing those on your desktop i.e using a folder with all your favorite wallpapers and just having them rotate every minute it's pretty straightforward and easy to do i'll show you a quick site where you can get all of these wallpapers on your computer so first let's take a look inside the settings area here inside personalization you can see that on here we have it set to themes we've got it in dark mode here but on the background uh, area up the very top here you'll see background is set to window spotlight and a lot of people don't like using this because obviously it sends information back to microsoft and they don't like it they also don't want to install the bing uh, wallpaper program because obviously that's connected to microsoft as well this is where Bing Wallpaper website comes in. There's quite a few of these about. This is just one of them where you can gain access to all of the Bing Wallpapers here. You can download either 4K versions, 2K versions, and 1920 by 1080 p versions, which is what I'm going to be using here because this is a virtual machine. So just go through here and have a look at the extensive archive of high-definition, high-quality photos and you'll be able to use these as your wallpapers. You can see this is a very nice wallpaper. You can choose whether you want it as a 4K, uh, 2K, or you can have it as a 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and download this one right here, and we'll go to this location, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna right click on this and set this as my background, and basically that is it. You have got a nice wallpaper. But what I'd advise you to do is create a folder inside your photos area and put all your favorite wallpapers in there and have them rotate uh you know to your choice whether it be every minute every 10 minutes or whatever it is so let's go ahead and do that right here i'm just going to quickly create a folder here called wallpapers and we can copy this over to the pictures area once we've done this a little bit later and once that's done i'm going to copy these images into this folder and I need to get a few more. So let's go ahead and download a few more of these and put them into this folder. Just navigate through the archives and have a look and you can download which ones you want at what resolution you want. And these will be high definition images that you're uh, downloading. Once you've got all your images down that you want to use, you can go to uh, your folder here, downloads folder, and you can copy all of these into your wallpapers section like so and then you can just move this over to your pictures area or wherever you want to store it depends on where you want to put yours i'm just going to dump it into here and once we've got that done we can close that off and now what we need to do now is go to our settings panel go back to personalization and from here we can choose our slideshow and browse to our folder it's that simple click on the browse button and select your wallpaper folder and then you can choose to change your picture every uh, one minute right up to once a day or how often you want to have your pictures changed. You can shuffle the pictures as well in order. If you have hundreds of pictures, that would be a good idea. And again, you can choose to fit your desktop image, which is basically your desktop resolution. Fill that right up. But if you're downloading these as 920 by 1080 or 2K or 4K, it will fill the screen anyway, unless you're using an ultra wide screen. And it will automatically change like that as you see the transition change there for all your favorite wallpapers that you've downloaded and kept them on your PC. That way you get to download some of the favorite wallpapers, whether it be scenery or whether it will be, uh, you know, space or whatever it is you like to have on your desktop. That's basically how you can do it. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Super quick video for today. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I know this video is pretty basic, but it will tell people where to get some really lovely wallpapers from. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next one or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.